Alright, this is a question about finding x. When um, a number divided by 6 with remainder 1, a number divided by 7 with remainder 1, a number divided by both 8 or 11, the remainder is 7. So in this case, um, we have to have the mode, the 1 divided by the 6 and 8, to become a prime numbers. So before that, so we have to change it to for a form x equal to 1 mod 2 and x equal to 1 mod 3 from 1 mod 6 because 2 times 3 is 6. So since the next one, 1 mod 7 is the same thing, so we keep 1 mod 7, but the 8 is not a prime, it's composite number, so we have to change it to a prime. The smallest prime you can have is 2, so in this case, when the number divided by 8 with a remainder 7 is the same thing like the number divided by 2 has a remainder 1. So technically, I don't need to write this one, so I can cancel this one away. So last one is x equal to 7 mod 11. Now, this is very simple right now. So next step is trying to find out each number. For example, let's say if, uh, I'll keep the 2 here. So the LCM for the rest of the number is 3, 7, 11. So which is equal to um, 21, 231. So I want to find the number that divided by 2 with a remainder 1. But 231 divided by 2, you have remainder 1. So I keep 231 here. And the remainder of mod 2 here is 1. So you multiply by 1. So you get 231 for the first number. And then 3. You find the LCM of the rest of the number is 2711. So 2711 is 154. So 154, you want to find a multiple of the 154 including itself, which divided by 3, you have a remainder of 1. 154 divided by 3, you still have a remainder of 1. So 154 times the number from here, which is 1. So you got 154. Now we go for the 7. LCM of the, the other 3 numbers, 2, 3, 2, 3, and 11 is um, 2 times 3 is 66. Now in this case, 66 divided by 7, you have a remainder of 3. It's not working. Then it goes 132 divided by 7. Okay, let's put down over here. 66 divided by 7, remainder equal to 3. Then I go on the next one, remainder 132 over 7 times 3 equal to 71762 is a remainder of 6. So it's 3, 6, and then the next one is 9. So technically, when you calculate, you have a 330. Yes, 7, 330 over 7, you have a remainder of 1, technically, times 5. So since this 1, you times 1 here. So you got 330 here. So the next one if the, is 11. LCM of the rest of the numbers 2, 3, and 7, which is four, equal to 42. So when you continue with this number, you'll find out it's 210. It's the number divided by 11, you have remainder 1. So since this 7, you multiply by 7 here, you got 1, 4, 7, 0. Total A up together will be equal to 2, 1, 8, 5. LCM of 2, 3, 7, 11 should be equal to 4, 62. Okay, so in this case, the actual number from for the x will be equal to 462 times n plus 2185. n can be any integers, which is positive or negative, doesn't matter. So this is a is a element of any integers. So in order to find the three-digit number of n. Uh, in third, sorry, it's enough to find a three-digit number of x. So technically, you have to find negative of n, negative n. So which means I can take x equal to maybe using a negative three. Let n equal to negative three. So you have a negative one, three, eight, six plus two one eight five. You get a seven ninety nine for x. Working in this case. 